guys what's going on i hope you guys are well um so let's talk bob arum bob arum's made some outlandish claims that a manny pacquiao terence crawford fight may happen in china it could either happen in the middle east or even china macau what do you guys make of that you know, obviously, we know that the coronavirus original, or we, or that's what we hear on the news that it first came from China, and we don't really know how what the situation is in China. So, do you think it's a crazy move to be fighting there? Obviously, we don't know because now the coronavirus is spread all over the world. So, is it really going to make a difference if they're going to fight in Saudi Arabia, if they're going to fight in China, because? Even in the UK, for example, it's gone really bad. We've had over 26,000 deaths. So I did find it strange, though. Why China? Um, is there big money there for that fight? What, what? You know, the Middle East, I understand, because a lot of big fights are happening there now in Saudi, in Saudi Arabia and Dubai. And so it doesn't shock me. But China, what big fights recently have happened in, in China? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys can point it out, but I don't know whether there's big China or splash in the cash. I don't know. Uh, I do think, obviously, with this, with the, with the current situation, I do think um, that many people are going to avoid going to China. Uh, are the fighters going to be okay going with that? that listen, I've, like I said, I think the coronavirus is spread everywhere. You know, what's to say that they won't get it in where their own country? Because they're going to have to fight. If, if they fight in the US, they're going to have to fight somewhere, aren't they? And yes, there's certain places in the US that are not bad, but everywhere is, there's, you're at risk. You're at risk everywhere now around the world. People are wearing masks everywhere around the world because the coronavirus is spread everywhere. You know, the whole world is in, is in lockdown. You know, I've heard Sweden that they've not... Uh, uh, approach the lockdown method where they're not they're not then they're not doing what other countries are doing in terms of lock you know having a lockdown but most countries are, have a lockdown right now that you can't leave your house and here in the uk there's rumors that it may extend so we've now got it till may the 8th and it may extend till june i don't know what, what's gonna what's gonna happen but yeah, so what do you guys make of this this news that, you know, Bob Arum saying that Pacquiao Crawford could happen in, in China? Do you think that's a smart move? Do you think uh, Macau, I don't know whether Macau was one of the places that were really badly affected. I don't know because I know there was certain parts of China that was affected really badly, but there was also certain parts that weren't as bad. Um, but again, our people travel, so it's going to spread. So... I do, I do think that if there's money there, money if they've put the money up and it's, it, that's where the most money can be generated for that fight, then I think go China because, like I said, I don't think anywhere safe right now, or not not right now, but I'm talking when boxing does return, whenever it returns for these big fights, I feel like there's going to be a risk no matter where you stage it. So, and I just think that you know, so as a fighter, you've just got to go where the money is really. And if the money's in China, you got to go to China. Simple as that. Um, I think, again, I don't know. Bob Arum has been talking a lot of late. So we don't know what Bob Arum is saying. Is I could, You know, he, he's been he's been saying a lot of things of late. You know, um, you know, initially he was saying that Pacquiao Crawford isn't a great fight. Now, all of a sudden, he seems like he's jumped on it and he wants to make that fight or he wants to make the Spence fight. Um, you know, not so long ago, he was saying... You know, it wouldn't be good for Pacquiao's health to fight Crawford now. All of a sudden, he's okay with it. Um, I don't know. I always thought it was a great fight. I always thought it was a massive monster fight. Uh, but I just think, I, I, I just, I just, I just think a lot of you keep saying that it's, it's not a big pay per view fight. But it will be if Pacquiao fights Crawford. Crawford's one of the best fighters in the world, and Pacquiao is one of, uh, still one of the top fighters in the world, and he's also a massive draw. So when you put them two together, it's going to be a big fight for sure. I don't know why they wouldn't do that in America. Maybe because they don't feel that 
the pay-per-view numbers will be any good. That's the only thing I can think of because why wouldn't you have that fight in America? Uh, maybe they feel that they, they can make more money elsewhere because Crawford's not a big draw at all. That's the problem. If Crawford was a big draw, I think Pacquiao Spence will happen in the US because the fights, Spence is also a big name and then when you put Pacquiao together, you're looking at some good pay-per-view numbers. Problem is Crawford does not great pay-per-view numbers and I don't think Pacquiao's going to be able to carry that alone. Do you know what I mean? I think he needs a dance partner with a bit of popularity. But again, that's a big fight. You know, people, Crawford's a good fighter, but being a good fighter is not enough in today's time. You've got to be able to sell. And fortunately, Crawford's not got a great track record. You know, his fight against Amir Khan did 150,000 buys, right? And that, Amir Khan's a, a good name, a big name, right? His fight with Victor Postal did 60,000 or something like that. That's terrible. There's 60,000 people bought that pay-per-view. Like, that's really bad. Um, so, what do you guys make of it? Um, I think, do you think you have no choice but to take this fight into another country where, you know, an investor can come in and pay a huge amount of money? Because maybe that's the only way a fight with, like, Crawford and Pacquiao can be made. Maybe in terms of, if you, because here's the problem. They'll make a loss. They'll make if if they pay Pacquiao what he wants and they pay Crawford what he wants for that fight, they'll be making a loss because the pay per view numbers aren't going to do what they need in order to make a profit. So they're going to make a loss. So they need to take this fight, China or Dubai, in order to make it work financially for the fighters and for themselves. So they because they, they don't want to make enough more loss. We know they made a loss for Fury Wilder. They didn't break even, so. They can't keep making losses. At the end of the day, it's a business. You've got to make a profit eventually. So I think I think taking it to China, taking it to Saudi Arabia probably is the right move. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford in China is a great move? Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. I want to thank you all for me reaching 7,000 subs. I appreciate your support. Guys, as you can probably see from my channel art, I have recently started Patreon and Blogger. Um, if you were to click on this uh, icon here, it will take you to my Patreon page. And I just want to take you through my Patreon page. So I've, at the minute, I've got two options. Hopefully, I will increase this if my Patreon grows. But at the minute, I've got uh, one option, which is $1 a month fan donation, which will obviously help me produce better quality content on YouTube and faster for you guys. And I've got another option of $3 a month for two live streams a week discussing boxing with myself. You guys will get to speak to me face to face. Um, and I'll take you to my boxing blog. So if you were to click on the, this B sign here, it will take you to my boxing blogs, which is, which is this page here. And all you have to do is click on here. And that will take you to my boxing blogs where you can see all my different articles that I've wrote. So as you can see, I've wrote six articles about different topics so if you want to click on one of my articles all you got to do is click on this and it will take you straight to the article and you can read it and you can then go back and read the others if you if you would like but yeah guys i thought i'd just highlight this to you um so make sure to read my articles uh, make sure to subscribe to my patreon if you're interested and guys i thank you for your your support i thank you for me reaching 7,000 subs guys i'm out